G'day! In this video, you're going to learn a couple of simple ways to take screenshots of websites with Chrome. And I mean the ability to take a screenshot of the entire page, not what's just visible at one time. There are lots of different use cases you might want to use this. For example, web designers often use this to take a screenshot of a website they have built so they can show it off on their portfolio. Uh, for whatever reason, maybe you want to save a page so you can look at it later or to have a reference of what it looked like at one point. Uh, and we're going to look at two different options. One is built into Chrome and one is an extension uh, that you have to download. I'm Jimmy from jimmyrose.me and Content Snare. And if you would like to learn more tech tips and productivity tips to help you get more done in less time, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button below this video. But let's start digging in. Now, the first one is built into Chrome. So this is a really good option if you don't really want to download another extension. It is a little bit more limited, um, but it still will get you that screenshot if you need it. So let's have a look. Well, I've got the tour page of uh, our software products content snare open here in Chrome. And one thing you'll notice is we've got the WordPress bar across the top there. And I've got that up on purpose um, because you'll find that some screenshot tools and extensions don't deal with that because you'll see how it stays there as we scroll down the page. And that happens on a lot of different websites. And some of them really struggle with that and they'll actually put that bar in multiple times as you scroll down the page. So you've got to be careful of something uh, you want to test if you have some kind of sticky header on the page. So let's have a look at the built-in Chrome one. So you've got a couple of options here. You can either go to the menu here, more tools, uh, and then to developer tools. So control shift I is another way to get there or just pressing F12. It'll get you into this mode here. Uh, and bring up this window. If uh, it doesn't look like this, it might still be a full page one. You wanna hit this button here, this toggle device toolbar to bring it into this mode. I'm just gonna get that out of the way um, and use the responsive mode here. So this is actually a way you can change to different devices. Like you could take a screenshot of what it looks like on a Pixel 2, for example. Um, but responsive just means at least you're gonna get the full, um, almost the full size page there. You can see it's kind of smaller inside my browser. You can change the resolution here if you want to, but then you just come over here and go to capture screenshot, which gets the uh, currently visible section or capture full size screenshot. So I'm gonna hit that and just wait. So it's just gone and automatically downloaded a file uh, and opened it up here. So you can see uh, in my default picture viewer. So you can see it's done a pretty good job there. The bar um, has not been duplicated as we scroll down the page. It's actually done it pretty well. Looks like it's chopped off the bottom though. The footer didn't quite get um, all caught there, but it's done a pretty good job. And that's one you can use without downloading anything at all. All right, let's look at option two. So I'm gonna quit out of this mode uh, and you'll have to head over to Awesome Screenshot. So if you just Google Awesome Screenshot, you'll end up at this extension page. You can also just search for it in the Chrome Web Store. Uh, go ahead and install that and it's gonna add this icon here in your toolbar. So I'm gonna jump back to that same page click this extension and you can see it gives us a few different things. It is possible to record your screen with this tool as well, but let's just look at the capture. So we've got the visible part, um, the full page, and of course you can even select a certain area to take a screenshot of. So it's a little bit more flexible if you want to, uh, if you need those features, but let's go ahead and do full page. All right, so now we're on the screen where it's taken the screenshot. Looks like it's done a pretty good job as well. And it's managed to get the entire site. So sometimes I do find that this one does a better job of the one built into Chrome. Uh, so to me, it's kind of worth having another extension for. I know some people are kind of averse to adding yet another extension, uh, but this one I use all the time. Uh, and you can even have um, keyboard shortcuts. I don't know if you noticed those there. If as you hover over, you see there's control shift E just to get that uh, cranking without having to go through all those other menus. So it is handy. The other thing that's handy is now we're on an annotation screen. So if you like, you can start drawing on things and you know, if you need to type some things uh, to someone to show them how to use a site or where to click, you've got all these tools available here, including cropping and drawing and arrows are really important. You know, I pretty much always end up using arrows and text as the two major things. Um, 
you know, undo, you can change the color. So it is quite uh, flexible in what you can do. And once you're done, you click the done button. And what it does is brings you to this new screen where you can either download it as a file, upload it to other services or cloud storage like Dropbox and that kind of thing. I don't have any of this enabled because I pretty much always just use copy. Almost exclusively, I am just copying images out into another um, thing. So I really like the fact that that feature's there because now, you know, if I'm pasting this in a chat window or something, I can literally just go control V and that image will be there. But of course you can download it if you need it uh, for whatever reason. Now they do have their own cloud storage as well. I believe there's a cost involved, but I don't use this. Um, yeah, but once you're done, once that's copied or downloaded, you just close this window and uh, you're done. So there you have it. Those are two very handy ways you can take screenshots with Chrome. One built in if you don't like extensions and otherwise awesome screenshot. Now I have been using awesome screenshot forever and it's just gotten better and better. It's pretty much a must have plugin for me and it saves, you know, a few clicks there like opening developer tools to download it. And if you're uh, annotating screenshots and you need to do this regularly, it's obviously a lot more of a time saver than having to go in the other way. And then you'd have to like, open it in another app to annotate it. So, you know, depends what you're doing, but uh, either one of those is a great option. I'm Jimmy from jimmyrose.me. And if you'd like to learn more tech tips like this or productivity tips and automation on how to get more done in less time, please hit that subscribe button below and I'll see you in the next video. The next one actually is going to be about my favorite screenshot tool on Windows, which I use in replacement uh, for awesome screenshot regularly. And you'll see why I'll put a link to that video in the description below. See you there.